This is a spindle for a Latex 360. This is a blue end cap for a Latex 360. Down on the bottom there is the other end cap for the Latex 360, which is the black one. The black one has two positions. It's fairly straightforward. It clicks into one or it clicks in the other. If the roll is smaller, you put it on the inside position. If the roll is the full width, you put it on the outside position. If you put it on the out inside position and you have a bunch of core showing here, obviously it's not going to read it and you're going to have to move it back to the outside position. What I want to talk about are really two things. Thing one, this is your end cap, the end for this cap. This end cap is perfectly fine, except there's a spring here. You put the spring down and it holds it in place. You lift the spring up, it's no longer in place. If you put this down and then you forget to lift it up and take this off the spindle, it will give you some resistance, but not much, which will allow you to pull it off the spindle even though it's been clamped shut. If you do that enough times, eventually the effectiveness of this spring and this pad becomes limited. When it's limited, that means when the printer is printing, instead of this staying put, it may start to, type, type, start to walk on you. If it starts to walk, instead of staying right down here at the end of the spindle, it's going to roll up here. And if it rolls up here while it's printing, guess what it can roll with it? That. So this starts moving, and this starts moving. And now what's going on down here is that's off. If you were printing a double-sided printing job, and this does not remain completely fixed, it could throw off your whole job. So that's especially critical for things like panel printing, double-sided printing, anything where tight registration really matters. This could be a job killer, especially if you've weakened this. Now what I do is I put a little piece of tape here. I use the good 3M uh, masking tape that doesn't leave any residual, and I just kind of stick it right along here. I need just enough tape there to prevent this from walking. Because, yeah, a lot of my caps too, I've pulled on them and I've reduced the spring. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. Now, I am actually, today as we speak, working on a, a little 3D, HP does have some nice 3D printers, working on a little 3D printer solution to this so that if you do uh, limit this, I can just put a little device on there and it holds it in place, like a little 3D manufactured collar specifically designed for this. But until then, my recommendation is be careful with your caps. Don't pull on them when the spring is down. Make sure you lift it and take this off. That will allow this to be effective. As this becomes less effective, this can walk on you. The second recommendation. These are aluminum spindles. They're designed to be effective and light. Okay, if we wanted to make them out of something like steel, they'd be a lot heavier and a lot more difficult to lug around. So we made them out of aluminum. That's great, except if you, and everyone does this, they print, they take this out, and they lean it up against the printer or they lean it up against the wall. And what happens? You know, it slides down and hits the ground. When it does, it bends these aluminum fins. These fins are easy to bend. Now you can't get your end cap on because you've bent your fins. Then you have to get out a file and file it and get some pliers and try to put it back into place, which is not fun. And then this still resists in two positions and you have to keep turning around to have it slide on properly. I would set this on a table or I would, what I'm looking for now is like some bean bags or a Y kind of holder that I can set on the top of the printer behind these fans. You don't cover the fans. But put a big bean bag here and put a bean bag on the other end. And then when I slide this out, I can set this on the bean bag and there's no chance of it sliding around. You have to think of a workflow where you can take this spindle out and set it somewhere, but you don't want to set it up against the wall and you don't want to set it up against the printer. I guarantee you it's going to slide and fall down. You're going to bend these fins. And then you're going to have to buy another spindle. This also, if you damage these, you can't order one. They come together. So you're going to have to order the spindle and the end cap. So take care of your end cap and take care of your spindle. And if you think of a clever way that if these are compromised and they don't hold as well as they should, and this kind of pulls off, you know, it's weakened and it kind of slides even when the clamp is on, if you think of some clever way to hold that together with some simple little device, some simple little collar that won't let this walk and it keeps just enough pressure on it from moving, 
look me up at the next trade show, ISA, Graph Expo, SGIA, Sign Expo Canada. I'm at usually all of them. I'll definitely reward you if you have something cool and innovative for me that can fill that little gap and stop these from walking. But take care of your spindle cap. Take care of your spindle. You won't be having to uh, look us up and ask for a replacement. Mm -hmm.